Hi, I'm Derek Klobuchar with SAP News Services, and I'm here in Nice, France at SAP Insider 2015 to check out an S4 HANA-based financial executive dashboard. Birgit Starman is a Senior Director of Product Management for SAP S4 HANA and SAP Fiore. She showed me a Fiore-powered executive dashboard for Chief Financial Officers. The dashboard uses S4 HANA to summarize, in real time, a lot of the financial information that executives need to effectively run their organizations. And the example we're going to use is finance, since it is the financials insider. Now the first thing we can see here is that there are multiple roles assigned to this finance executive. So here I've got a CFO role, management reporting, and then also accounts receivable, accounts payable, cash management, etc. So the same person can have multiple roles assigned to him or her. Now the next thing is we're going to take a look at the state of finance. It's a really good example of how you can calculate KPIs in real time. So as soon as the transaction hits, it gets reflected here as well. And I can see here under the profit and loss column that I have an issue with the operating margin. I'm going to drill into more detail to find out exactly what's going on. I'm following the path here. We've got the operating margin. The problem is in expenses, and it's with the Global Customer Operations Unit in Latin America. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and drill into more detail to find out exactly what's going on. And I'm shown here that the problem is in Brazil, and I'm seeing that third-party expenses are really out of whack. Now, I'd like to see which accounts this is actually hitting. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell my work team that we need to deal with this and to start contacting their customers. Um, the next thing I'm going to do here is take a look at the P&L statement. So within the profit and loss statement, I can see all the different GL accounts. From here, I can even drill into the line item level. And then I can see exactly where some of these transactions are. And I can see some of these are very high. Now I'm going to look at the middle because obviously if the operating margin is going down, I want to take a look at how that's going to affect my cash flow. And I can see the cash flow position has also gone down. I would like to look into the details here and I can again see that you know, we're having an issue with accounts receivable. So this is an example of the balance sheet as we can see it within Fiori. Knowing that I have to look at receivables, now I'm going to look at my working capital section. And here I'm going to look at my overdue accounts receivable and I can see that there's actually a big chunk that is more than 90 days overdue. So that's going to be an issue for my cash flow because obviously a company has bills to pay as well. Now here we see that the customer at the top really by far has more outstanding receivables than the other customers. I can look at these across many different dimensions. I'm going to choose um, the receivables and I can see here that there are some invoices that have not been paid. I'm going to contact the account exec and I'm going to say please contact this customer because they're way overdue in their payments to us. And at this point, I'm pulling data, again, directly from ERP. HANA's calculating things on the fly. For example, the overdue receivables of $18 million. I'm going to click on that. And at this point, in real time, I'm getting the information through SAP HANA and Simple Finance. And I'm going to look at this particular invoice. I've just spoken to the customer now. The customer promises that they're going to pay the $14 million that are associated with this particular invoice. Now, I'm going to promise payment here and click on that. And at this point, this actually writes that back into the ERP system. So with the power of SAP Fiori, with the power of S4 HANA and SAP Simple Finance being the initial part of that, we can see that there's a lot of interactivity here for, from analytics all the way down to the transactional level. That's it for now from SAP Insider 2015. For SAP News Services, I'm Derek Klobuchar.